Clap for the wolf man. He gonna make it till the day you die. Clap clan. Shout out to you guys. V Berry in the Death Star. We're, we're big guns today, guys. Big guns. We're talking big. Okay, biggest gun there is. Big gun, beautiful gun. It's one of the biggest guns. It is the biggest guns, if not the biggest. And there's another big gun right beside him. Because he's platooned with another big gun, with the green head. A green-headed, purple-bodied big gun. This is starting weird. Okay, hold on. Let me start again. <clears throat> hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're going to feature the biggest gun in the game. The Death Star. Doing what a Death Star does. How much damage can he do? It's just going to be incroyable. That's why. And then we're going to feature something that's kind of different than the Death Star. Okay? Kind of different. Oh, one of the, the shit barns been detected. <laughs> His buddy in the shit barns detected. And the shit barn runs away and the Death Star shoots. 1,803. <laughs> Penetration. Hesh round, guys. This thing uh, actually has some turret armor, too. Look at this. He's bouncing shots. He's bouncing shots. He's bounce. Oh, he, one of them penetrated. He's bounced. And he, uh, he absorbed three out of four shots. Is he going to blind shoot the bush? No. Don't blind. I'm not going to say whether that one bounced or whether that one hit. I would have waited till you had a target. Because this thing takes so long to reload. See, now you're wishing... Maybe I shouldn't have done that blind shot. But he's gonna he's gonna reload. Oh no! Shit barn! He's not even gonna turn around. Someone got him. Boop! 1604 on an angled side. Are you absolutely kidding me on an object 430u the hash round with 230 pen wargaming do you just make this stuff up do you just make this stuff up wargaming i can shoot the angled side of an object 430u 50 times with my leopard 50 times with 270 pen leopard APCR and it'll, it'll bounce <laughs> this guy shoots 230 pen he did hit him right you know just below the space armor above the tracks he, he did hit him right but the guy was angled pretty good ay 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 okay all right legit it was legit. If the game says it penned, it was legit. We are going to go back to trigonometry class and figure out what the effective armor. And, you know, there's probably some uh, Pythagorean's theorem and cosine and uh, sine and cosine and tangent functions going on there. Okay, he's moving into uh, a specific spot here, right here where this bush is. Not bushes bush is this is where the bush is and his friend in the shit barn is gonna get detected again okay just pre-aim 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 Go home. <laughs> how would you like to be that amx 13105 now this is the tank that used to be the tier 10 um the tier 10 that you could grind in the game and they removed it because it was too much fun and they replaced it with a gerbil and uh then they put a new that one there that's dead the shit barn with the big huge stupid turret they that's the new kind of death star and it sucks because it has no concealment and no armor and no hope <laughs> but this one's been removed you get this one is a special vehicle now and is he going to just, just somewhere in the middle? Anywhere. You can hit him anywhere because you don't have to pen. You don't have to pen. Just shoot him anywhere. 
There you go. Gotcha. If you don't penetrate, you're going to roll two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred with this thing. Depending on the amount of armor you hit. You can't hit a track with no armor behind it. There's no more explosive. It's it's hash, uh, but it doesn't explode. It behave. It, the, the mechanic is the same as an AP shell now. So if you hit a track wheel and then the trajectory of the shell goes through the track wheel and it's going to hit the dirt, doesn't hit armor behind it, you roll zero. But if you hit any kind of armor, even spaced armor, and something with armor behind it, whoa! Then you, uh, oh, <laughs> 1,803. If you don't pen, you're going to roll, depending on a formula. But it's usually two, three, four, five, six hundred. If you pen, if your shot penetrates, uh, then you have 1,000, what is it, 1,750 plus or minus 25%, somewhere in that range. And he must have penned that object 430U to do 1,604. He low rolled on the object 140, or the object 140, 430U. He low rolled for 1,604. But that was a penetrating shot. All his shots have been penetrating the high rolls. The Jagdpanzer E100, I said, you could shoot him anywhere because even a non penning shot is going to do the 298 uh, damage that was required to kill the Jagdpanzer E100. So he is up at 6,900 damage. He's only fired his gun a few times. And now he's getting ready to defend. Just uh, take it easy. Don't don't blunder into them anywhere there. Just, okay, just, just be patient. Be patient. He's got to be careful. Depends what the enemies do. If the enemies move towards his cap, he's going to get detected there. If they move around that gap. So I, the enemies may have turned to face... His teammates in the Progetto 65 and the C63 on the on the 1-2 line. So he's just getting ready for someone that may try to scurry to the cap. He will surprise them big time. His AMX 13105 teammate, the light tank, has moved to kind of defend against that. And their 121B is capping. Daddy, I want to cap for victory. My win rate's over 18% when I cap. And so his teammate is going to cap. Which means the enemies are probably going to go back to reset. And there they are. They press their W keys to go back to reset. So he's going to take a central position. There's no sense waiting where he was. Because there you now you see the enemies. Someone's in the cap. So which is probably, I guess, a decent move by the 121 to make the enemies move. And now he's going to say hello. <laughs> and he penned the side of the of, of the 60 uh, 60 TP I think he hit the turret and I've bounced on the side of the 60 TP turret many times <laughs> he has got RNG coming out his ass guys okay the RNG is coming out his ass and uh, when I say that, I say it partly joking and partly true that, uh, remember, 230 pen on the Hesh round. I'm going to do the math for you. Uh, 230 times 1.25, he can roll as high as 287. The RNG on penetration rolls. You don't see that. The game doesn't tell you what your penetration roll is. It, it just doesn't say it only tells you what your damage roll is. We all know there's plus or minus 25% RNG range on your damage if you pen, right? But whether you pen or not is governed by the partially governed. It's governed by the angles and the effective armor and all that shit. But it's uh, then if the effective angle and the effective armor is 247, if you shoot something that has 247 millimeters of effective armor, with 230 pen, well, 230 is not enough pen to pen 247. So you'll bounce, right? Well, you will bounce unless you roll over 247 with your RNG on your penetration. So there's a statistical uh, probability of outcome. 
you take the, all the probable outcomes pl from plus 25 percent to minus 25 percent and as you guys watch this you're gonna watch him take a shot on a reverse side scraping amx and pump him for 1623 because he pen let's quickly take 230 times 0 0.75 he can roll as low as 172 oh he took another one there what he needs a 60 tp to come and help him no had it everybody out what were you doing you went to the this what was he doing he went to the bushes on the right why didn't you come around and shoot ah the joys of having a really good teammate not worth watching anymore says the e50m <laughs> what that feeling you get when you do 11,850 damage and you lose. Now everyone knows that if you want to win the game after doing more than 10,000 damage, you can't fight in a Death Star, you have to fight in a gerbil. Uh, oh, I, I mean a badger. Sorry, I got that wrong. It's a badger. I thought it was a gerbil. Uh, Storm, Strom, Strom from the THK clan. Shout out to you guys. Gonna show us how to do it in the magic. Hey guys, did you think about that RNG I was talking about? It, it, it leads to a, a probability of outcome, right? So if you're if you got a 230 pen and your pen range, your penetration roll can go from 127 to 297. No, one one set what what are the numbers? I got the numbers wrong. What were the numbers? Do I have to do math again in my head? Yeah, 172 to 270. That's like a 100-point range. That's your penetration rule. 172 to 270. So if someone ha if you're shooting effective armor, think of it this way. That's a 100-point spread? At 172 to 270, approximately. Let's round that to about a 100-point spread. Your lowest you can roll on your penetration roll is 172. The highest you can roll is 270. If you shoot effective armor of 173, someone has effective armor of 173. You aim at 173 effective armor, and you have 230 pen, and you press that trigger, you have a 99% chance of hitting. 99% chance if there's like if it's a hundred point spread right because there's a hundred diff hundred options you got one out of a hundred chance of not penning you can roll 172 on your penetration roll and there you click you hit it and it says that one bounced you know what you have a 99% chance of penning if you have 230 pen put it this way this is an easier one to okay that was a convoluted uh, way of why these guys are sliding around on this thing being dorks anyway that was a convoluted way of trying to explain it with too many numbers floating around let me make it easier you have 230 pen hash or do you have 230 pen forget about normalization and this and that let's say you're shooting a target that has 230 pen effective armor including the normalization and everything with 230 pen armor is 230 effective shell 230 pen what happens you penetrate 50 percent of the time and 50 percent of the time you bounce because there's a, a damage penetration roll it's 50 50. Which leads, to, usually the results kind of average uh, around the, you know, that there's a probability of outcome. But every now and then you get trolled, right? Every now and then you've got 230 pen and you're shooting someone that has, uh, you know, has 200, 200 armor. You've got 230 pen. You take six shots and they all bounce. And it's frustrating as hell. 
Other times you have 230 pen and you shoot someone that has 250 mils of armor and you you penetrate five in a row. And then he's pissed off. My fucking armor doesn't work. And it's rage inducing. That's what the induces rage in this game. But anyway, that's besides the point. Just thought I'd uh, talk about that for just a few minutes. And this IS-7 is realizing that maybe he shouldn't have blundered forward like a Muppet. Well, he may or may not think that one and tracked him. He, did he even track him? Oh! Mexico! No! Boom! Oh, he rammed him to death! And he... Oh, the physics on this corner is so... Wargaming, this is uh, beautiful physics. Because everyone knows a tank can slide into the ocean and then drive out on a 70 degree angle of slippery rock. It's, uh, that adds so much realism to the game. I, I'm just like the RNG rolls on the uh, penetration, it makes the game just uh, that much more realistic. <coughs> so, <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Um, what am I babbling about? Did I did my babbling make any sense to you guys? Still to this day, I think I've mentioned it a dozen times on my videos, and some of you are going, "Oh God, there he goes again." But there are some people uh, on the forums or that you just have a conversation with that still don't really understand that they're always oh, going to blind shoot the bush. They they don't understand that there there's no one in the bush because you're not detected. Your sixth sense that didn't go off, so the manticore is not in that bush. I'm telling you, buddy. Look where the bush is on the mini-map. Look how far it is. And everyone knows that spotting works perfectly in this game. <clears throat> everyone knows, Klaus, that his sixth sense went off and he was permalit perma the whole time. Did his sixth sense go off? Do I need to rewind this? I didn't see his sixth sense go off. But maybe it did. Maybe it did. And may maybe I was babbling so much that I didn't notice the sixth sense go off. Ever think of that? <laughs> but anyways, I digress into uh, randomness. But what are these shots? These shots are just... What is going on in this game? He's in the middle of the map. Aren't there ten enemies still alive? There's still 10 enemies playing this game. He's in the middle of the map. What the hell is going on? How come no one's shooting him? Forget everything I said about penetration and RNG and all that stuff. What the hell is going on? And now, and now his sixth sense went off. So he wasn't permalit. Well, anyways, this, as you can tell, this game works perfectly. What I was getting at is that a lot of players still don't realize that there is RNG on the penetration and it has a huge effect on the game. Uh, just because you have a certain penetration on your gun does not mean you will penetrate a certain amount of armor. There's RNG in that. That's the frustrating part of the game. Maybe a little bit too much RNG on that. He's lit here by that EBR like so long ago being proxy spotted and his sixth sense went on just now. It, it's been like... 10 seconds he's been proxy spotted here by the EBR. The six... Is it a replay bug? I don't know. Snap it. Maybe it'll, maybe the game will go... And the sh who knows? The enemies still have one, two, three, four, five, six... Wouldn't you love to fight an enemy team like this? What? What's going on? They're actually losing. <laughs> That's what's going on. Klaus, haven't you noticed what's going on in this game? His team is losing. Look where he is on the map. What the hell is going on? Okay, just up the ass. That one went in, I think. Do they have a team? Do we have a light tank? Is there a light tank on our team? Because I'm pretty sure the light tank on the enemy team is dead. So if there was a light tank on this team, it could run around and spot everyone pretty easily. Is there a, a, a light tank on, on the... Let's see, um, is there one? Uh, oh, there he is. Uh, is he in a bush? Uh, no. 
He's um, hiding behind a rock. <laughs> see, guys, you look at the mini map and you say, "Oh, we've got a light tank. There he is." See, see on the mini map where the, you see the AMX 13105, and you think, "Oh, at least our light tank is spotting. He's in a bush." No, he's not. He's right there in the open. <laughs> He's not, he doesn't even know that he should maybe go in a bush somewhere or get close to the enemies. <laughs> Where's the light tank? He's, he's parked by that rock over there. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> what, a, what an absolute Muppet. That's a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. So how did the ST did did he get the lower plate? How did that STRV pen him? I thought he's behind a rock. I don't know. Who knows? Who the hell knows what's going on in there? I give I give up. He's he's behind the rock. Where did where did he pen him? Okay, is the lower plate on the right was uh, exposed. The rock doesn't didn't extend the whole way. And now that AMX is thinking, look, I, Daddy, I detected a 60 TP. <laughs> Nobody knows what they're doing. The enemies don't know where they're going. They don't know whether they're coming or going. The light tank. Oh, Daddy, I detected the 60 TP, but I wasn't in a bush, Daddy. This guy doesn't even. This guy just killed the STRVD. He doesn't even know someone's coming this way. Where did he come from? Is that the same badger that killed my teammate in the STRV? How did he get there? <laughs> and the light tank. Daddy, I detected the 60 TP. And my sixth sense went off, Daddy. I exploded. Oh, Daddy, maybe I should have went in a bush. It's it. This is one of those games, guys. One of those games where we just... There are no words. That's why you have me, to give you the words. I'm going to give you the words. E50? Um, maybe... Maybe your daddy's account is not the correct account for you to play. Maybe you should go back to the tier 2 tanks. E50 missed. <laughs> The leopard is now visible. <laughs> the le there's <laughs> the leopard blunders forward. I'll shoot. Poof! He explodes. There's enemies all around. There's a VZ-55. I'll take a shot. <laughs> Please, one shot, 10k, says the badger. Please. One shot 10k and his team says, fuck you. <laughs> He's saying, please, let me have one shot. Oh my god. There, oh, there's your shot. There's your shot, buddy. They won't give him the shot, guys. They're not going to give him the shot. They're saying, screw you. What do you want, 10k? 10k happens every day. I was on the forums. Everyone on the forums gets 10k every game. They told me I should get good. Screw you. <laughs> Can he get a shot? The badger is trundling forward. The badger is slowly creeping. Slowly doing what a badger does. Excruciatingly so slow. It's moving up there. Here he goes. Please. Oh, the VZ says affirmative. The leopard says go, go. The teammates are actually allowing him to get his 10K. Shout out to these teammates, the VZ and the leopard. <laughs> They find the E50 is going to drown himself. He's got to shoot before the E50 drowns himself. There goes the E50 is driving back and forth like a Muppet. <laughs> Thinking, wait, well, my daddy never told me that this tank was so maneuverable. Oh, and Stormy 99. 10,417 damage. And he lost a shit ton of credits because, you know, why wouldn't you? The icing on the cake. Lose a shit ton of credits. Guys, I'm tired. I'm going to go walk Marty. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. I'll catch you guys on the next one.